In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at manifest.json file, which gets created when we build the application, and it also resides when we have our application template generated while creating the application itself. So here, I have run the audit, and this is the current report that we have. Now, if I go to application, and here I click on this manifest, you will notice a couple of things that are shown over here. For instance, identity. Now, it says name as create react app sample and short name as react app apart from that it also has this theme color background color and then the icons as well now all these information that we have over here is coming from this manifest.json file now here if i take you to the code you'll notice that inside the public directory we have this manifest.json file and here i have now provided it a name called flickr application and uh, that's the short name and then the name is get images from Flickr API. Now, apart from that, we have the icons collection. So you can see we have icons for different sizes, 64, 64, 32 cross 32, 24 cross 24, and 16 cross 16. Then we have this 192 cross 192, 512 cross 512. And here we have our display theme color and background color. So all this information that we have in this file is basically shown when we go to our browser and view the application manifest. Now in order to change the name and short name, all you can do is just go in, update the short name and name. And if you feel like changing the icons, you can do so as well. And then you can also change the theme color. And once you have done that, you can simply build the application again. So I can build it using this command npm run build. And once it's built, all I need to do is serve it and once served if i take you to the browser now you'll notice the name is now coming as get images from flickr api and short name is flickr application so that's how easy it is to update the manifest data in your progressive web applications